कीजिए दिवजी सर मैम को बताइए हेलो uh, मंजू मैम आपके स्क्रीन पे ही आ रहा होगा तीन बटन ऑप्शन आ रहे होंगे माइक का कॉल कट करने का और वीडियो कैम का तो आप uh, ये माइक वाले को ऑन कर दीजिएगा शुरू करते हैं मैम हमारे जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन के सारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं ये बैचलर डिग्री का कोर्स कर रहे हैं सारे Okay. और हम लोग फिल्म मेकिंग भी पढ़ते हैं फिल्म के एस्पेक्ट्स पढ़ते हैं कई सारे जो दुनिया भर के देशों में जो फिल्में बन रही हैं वो और इसके साथ इंडिया के अंदर कहाँ कहाँ फिल्में बनाई जा रही हैं और उनमें किस तरीके की विविधता है <laughs> हमें पता नहीं चलता कि सोनम जैसी फिल्म जो अरुणाचल में बनती है जब उसको दिखाया जाता है दुनिया के प्लेटफॉर्म में तो पता नहीं चलता कि ये अरुणाचल की क्या सोनम है या इस घोड़े में बैठा हुआ yeah, yeah, right, right. है Uh, किस तरीके का है और इसी देश का है तो हमें पता नहीं हमें बहुत सारी चीजें देश के अंदर के नहीं पता है और हम दुनिया की बात करने लगते हैं तो हमने एक सीरीज शुरू की है कि कोरोना के समय में कि हम कैसे दुनिया के बेस्ट डायरेक्टर से बातचीत कर सकें दुनिया के बेस्ट लोगों से बातचीत कर सकें उसमें हमने आपको इन्वाइट किया है तो आपका तहत तो से स्वागत है और हमारे छात्रों के साथ आप वार्तालाप शुरू करें थैंक यू मैम ओके you must be having a very difficult time during this corona virus lockdown period is not it yes but yes, uh, but yes, uh, uh, but we are blessed that nowadays because of this uh, you know devices internet and these things uh, this uh, communication uh, advantages we are having now we can talk with you over phone or like this so i think this is quite an advantage like digital flame has been introduced in the world uh, i have done all my flames tank flames fissure flames in celluloid earlier but uh, since 1917 uh, uh, i think 1916 i started making flames in digital camera so this is a boon to the children of uh, present time what do you think about digital technology digital film making yes ma'am uh, Uh, for now i think uh, technology have given us a lot of uh, advanced features uh, especially uh, visual effects are playing a very important role in the uh, film industry nowadays right uh, vfx is something that uh, which is recently introduced in a broad manner to the uh, film industry and uh, it was not available in the previous 90s or uh, uh, until 2005 or 6 i think there was no use of vfx Yeah. Uh, so uh, VFX has given a new identity to the uh, film industry. Yeah. Uh, in Bollywood and uh, in uh, uh, Hollywood and in every uh, type of uh, cinema, I think uh, people are using uh, VFX. Yeah, yeah. Uh, VFX is uh, one of the elements of film making, but not everything. VFX is not everything for a film. There are so many elements uh, in uh, making of a film. but what i feel the most important thing is earlier we were not exposed to the world films like uh, your uh, sir was telling that we did not even know where sunam like film is being made so now it is the advantage is through this internet or the digital technology we can see the world films just uh, in a click you can go to so many films you know you go to japan you go to iran you go to china you go to india and eastern part of this region assam Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, like that, is not it wonderful? And uh, earlier you say uh, these uh, film festivals, uh, film festivals were not accessible for everyone, for all. So nowadays you can, without attending a film festival, also 
you can see all the classics of the world you can learn so many things which you are studying now but at the same time you are getting the visual access also to those films so i think this is one of the most amazing things uh, happen in the cinema world in the field of cinema in the world of cinema so this is one advantage because uh, now you see your sir was asking me manish was asking me to talk about northeastern films so northeastern films generally we film makers uh, we say we say that there should not be any linguistic or geographical boundary of a cinema cinema is universal cinema has only one language that is cinematic language am i right uh, uh, so uh, so what what is happening now uh, without uh, having that boundary that geographical boundary also i mean having that boundary also with have uh, with the geographical boundary also cinema can become universal i am making claims with the subjects of northeastern region if my northeastern my land and my people cannot get reflected in my film then what is the use of making films sitting at guwahati sitting at uh, assam and not saying anything about my land and my people so these days i always encourage the new film makers to take up some projects some subjects which reflects the land and people of this region and you see it is very interesting india is having more than 1600 dialects in india besides the major indian languages we have almost 1700 dialects in india and in northeastern region itself we have more than 200 dialects can you imagine in assam itself and in arunachal pradesh more than 20 in assam also more than 100 in nagaland mizoram if you count all these dialects now it will be more than 220 dialects we people are speaking and because of this diversity because of this diverse language linguistic status and geographical status culture is also varied from place to place within 1 km to 10 km radius you cannot imagine the lifestyle the language everything is so different from each other we do not speak those languages we do not know do we know those people but we cannot speak their dialects and as we say see mother tongue is the pride of any human being it is the identity of a person it is the pride of any uh, you know any person i speak my assamese i feel so proud when a function pa it's a tribe in arunachal pradesh when he speaks his language he is so proud of his language of his identity like that in nagaland nagaland they have so many dialects they are so proud of that and each and every ethnic group of people they cannot speak their uh, the other languages maybe they are living together i mean uh, habiting in habitation in the same area but they do not know they they cannot speak those languages so it is very interesting and that is why i have taken up i started my mission to make films not in mainstream assamese but in some other dialects spoken in this region and now it is because of that i feel because i always tell the newcomers now this digital technology has come up it is not very expensive to make a film like our earlier days in celluloid so you have access to everything you go with a small unit members you go and sit with those people and you see even in the remote most uh, places the story is said the story is so universal these people they are fighting for their linguistic status for their identity for their political uh, you know political status they are fighting for that and they are so human their emotions everything if it can be reflected in a film then only i feel that as a film maker somebody will become successful if those things that do not uh you know appear or do, do, do not does not uh, get uh, reflected in their films then what is the use of making a film you just see a film just good entertainment maybe but after coming out from the theater or from the net you forget about the film no film making is not that it is a responsibility uh, along with the entertainment also with entertainment even you can make a very responsible film and that is what my always my message is always to the new newcomers new generation film makers you take a small camera does not matter it is a tool only whether you 
take a small camera or a big camera, a big unit or a small unit does not make any difference. But you say something which is very, very genuine, which is very important to the you know whole world where one can uh, show the people's struggle, their emotion, their psychological uh, you know, status, everything. So, yes, ma'am. Uh... When sir introduced uh, us to you and uh, he recommended uh, us a, a film of yours, uh, then he told us that uh, uh, maybe you don't know the language, but the the way the film is been directed and written, it is so easy to understand. Yeah, visual media, you see, cinema. Earlier I was telling you, cinema does not have any language. No? It is not confined to any language one speaks. Uh, it is uh, it is cinematic language. If you can portray, if you can express those things cinematically, it's a medium, it's a visual media. If visually it is strong, I think one or two lines of subtitle is required just to get the, you know, uh, the cue of the story. But I don't think that in every shot, in every sequences, you have to follow the subtitles. Once you get the feel of the film and the subjects, the emotions, uh, what the maker is going to say or the characters in the screen. I think after 10 or 15 minutes, you are settled with the film and uh, you are very good to pick up the whole story. It's not the film is not only storytelling, it is a vis it is visual medium, medium. So it must be very strong visually. That is why I always put in importance in those technical aspects, no? like cinematography, sound, the music, those things are very, very important. Yes, ma'am. I totally agree with you. That's why. That is why I think we have some award-winning films like uh, Bypass, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the movie. We have no single dialogue in it, and uh, it is a, a really very uh, awesome and a very good uh, yes. type of yes. short movie. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Minutes, uh, yeah. Yeah. Most of the films nowadays they have hardly any dialogues, but you can see it visually, na? You can feel the whole theme, whole situation, whole story. You can feel it comes out. That is the credit of a maker. How he is utilizing this tool, na camera. That is very important. It's a very important part of a film making elements. No, one of the like sounds even music even. Sometimes music is not required without background score also. Earlier, what happened? Earlier, people used to put lot of loud music. Somebody, somebody, there is emotional scene, and you are playing the piano, uh, this uh, you know, flute or violin or something like that to emote the whole thing. But I don't think to emote uh, the you know the audience. You don't have to put because audience are intelligent these days. You know, if the performer, if the artist is good, he's coming out with his character. He's doing justice to the character, then you don't have to emote with uh, background and all those noises and all. Because silence is also sometimes is very, very, you know, full of words, meaningful. So sometimes uh, without music also a film can be very, very effective. And, uh, and uh, some uh, intelligently used sound score, sound, you should always have a sound script. My sound uh, engineer always tell, tells that when you make a film, you parallelly with your script, you write your, uh, you know, uh, sound script also, so that he can plan the, he can design the whole thing, incidental, incidental sounds, and uh, pick up some uh, very specific sounds from out of those incidental sounds, put somewhere here and there when it is necessary. And that makes a film very, very meaningful and very effective, I think. So sound is also very, uh, like camera, it's a very important part of a film making. Of films. Uh, yes, ma'am. And then, uh, uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, then, uh, actually, uh, he Manish was asking me to tell something about uh, Northeastern films. You see, earlier, business wise, uh, our films were doing quite well. And uh, you will be surprised to know it's uh, actually uh, it's very ironic that promoters Borua one of the pioneers of film, Indian filmmakers. He is from Assam. In 1930s, he emerged. You know Devdas. So Pramothes mm -hmm. Borua will be always remembered yeah, yeah. for his film. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so he is from Assam, but Assam could not pick up the industry uh, the way it should have been. And uh, you will be again surprised to know, you must be knowing as a student of uh, this area, that Jyoti Prasad Agarola in 1935, 
after Alo Marana, first talk in India in 1930, mm -hmm. it was made. And Jyoti Prasad Agarwala's Joy Mati was released on 1935, mm -hmm. just Hi. after five years of. Uh, this Alamara. It was released in Kolkata uh, on 10th March 1935. So that film, you will be surprised and you will be very happy to know because earlier Indian films were mainly, uh, you know, uh, dependent on mythological stories, uh, religious stories like that. So Jyoti Prasad Agarwala Jaimati is the first film in India who has picked up a real, realistic, real character with realistic approach. Jaimati is a uh, historical character. She is very renowned in Assam uh, as a politically very conscious woman. And uh, I made a film uh, in 2008, Joy Mati. So that is, of course, my mine is not a, a remake of that Jyoti Prasad Agarwala's Joy Mati, though the character is same, but my approach is more realistic and research-based and political. It's mainly a political film because at that period of time, uh, if you know some history, if you somebody of some of you is interested in uh, Indian and Assam history, that uh, these people, Ahoms, Ahoms uh, ruled Assam for more than 600 years. They united all the small, small ethnic groups of Assam and made the greater Assam. So they, while ruling, uh, while they were ruling Assam, some, you know, that uh, some, uh, some political uh, turmoil were, was going on. Then Joymati was a person. She was uh, she was the wife of a uh, general uh, who wanted to save her country by because that time all the people, the king and his general was trying to kill all the eligible kings so that they will rule forever. But Joymati has sacrificed her, fight her own you know uh, life uh, by hiding her husband, who is the who was one of the most eligible would be kings of Assam. So that sacrifice, that is, I portrayed it as a political, as a political vision of that character, of that woman. Women are very strong in Assam, you know, in uh, in this part of the India. Uh, women, uh, in you know about Meghalaya metric society and Manipur also. Women are getting a lot of, uh, you know, and they are very powerful. They are ruling the society, in fact. In Assam also, it is like that. They do all sorts of things, not only gharka kam, politic, but politically also, they are very aware, professionally also, professionally also, they are very aware. In filmmaking also, now a lot of girls are coming up in Assam. You may be knowing Rima Das, Village Rockstar, yeah. mm -hmm. fame. Yeah. So Bulbul can is, sing. Bulbul can yeah. sing. Bulbul can yeah. sing. Yes. So these girls are doing very, very well. And even Assam government, you will be very happy to know, they are trying to introduce a very uh, good, strong film policy policy to support the independent filmmakers. Unfortunately, this corona has uh, slowed down everything. But I think the, this will pass away one day and we will again get back to our, to our own work, filmmaking, and we will be able to utilize the government's policy and all, you know. They are very good. In fact, they are giving a lot of subsidy and um, 10 films a year to the newcomers and some good year, 25 lakhs uh, a film. It's quite good. And for promotion, uh, suppose your film gets selected for Oscar NT, then two, two crores for publicity. Rima got one crore, but we made it two crores now. I was also in the policy making, uh, you know. Uh, that uh, committee. So, and any Rajat Kamal and Sharna Kamal winners, director and producers will get for Rajat Kamal 30 lakhs and for Sharna Kamal 50 lakhs. Is not it good? Because if you get 50 lakhs, I, th I think, or even 30 lakhs, you can make a very good digital film. So that way, government is doing a lot of positive things. But uh, unfortunately, I was telling you, this period is not good, this period of time, but it will go away. Let us be hopeful. But now world has come to a standstill. I don't know, because filmmakers will really suffer a lot. But then these digital platforms, these digital platforms are doing wonder for the small producers. You Netflix, including Netflix. Netflix is a big platform, but some other platforms are also there where you can just bargain with them, put your film there. People can see your film. You can get some good viewers and some financial aid also. So this digital thing has really su is supporting a lot. And I think during this period of time, this closing down period of time, because this will continue for another two, three years, I'm sure. 
So this digital platform is going to be a great help for filmmakers like us. Even I am trying to put my films in some digital platforms now so that I can get some money. Because now cinema halls will be closed for, you don't you know, no, for, it will be closed for so long. Like schools, like educational institutions, cinema halls, malls, these are dying now almost. Another two, three years, I don't see any hope. But let us be hopeful. But this digital platform and digital filmmaking is a boon to all the filmmakers, I feel. Uh, what is your own uh, popular film? In your, My your... Own popular. <laughs> No yeah, popular film yeah. from my side. <laughs> People do not like my type of film. There are very few viewers. They appreciate my film. And, uh, you know, yeah, I got a lot of, so many national awards, international awards, so many festivals. But it is not rewarding, you know. Financially, uh, I'm not a rich person. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my, like, that's Koyad, then uh, the Laz. These are quite popular, I feel. Uh, they want to uh, see all these films. And uh, even my last film, uh, some anthropological uh, importance is there uh, in the land of poison women, because that was shot in a very remote place, very small community called Pangshanpa. And uh, people are very curious to know. And uh, you'll be happy to know that some universities are taking my film for their class, uh, you know, for their uh, students. Uh, even in uh, Israel, one university has taken my film, but unfortunately, because of this uh, corona thing, it's now pending, but it will happen. And uh, in Spain also, I'm so sad for those people. They are also some anthropologists. They have taken my film for their studies. And even in India, some of the institutes and universities, like my Joymati, these are very popular. Joymati is also in some universities for their classroom discussions. And uh, this new film, Koyad, of course. So it is like that. Adibji, sir, Pizawal. Sorry? Adibji. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, I have a question. Actually, uh, ma'am, why isn't the regional cinema which is coming out of Northeast movies, or even Bengali or Odia movies, some are very good, but they don't get the commercial success as the regional cinema of the South Indian industry, like uh, the Telugu movies they have, or even the Tamil movies, even some Malayalam movies, they have they are financially very strong, their commercial is very good. So ma'am, what uh, do you think that we are doing wrong, that our Bengali movies, or Odia movies, or even Northeast movies, they are not a very good in the commercial space? Yeah, that is true. That is true. Because you see, when I watch a Uriya film, even I feel that that, uh, you know, that slickness, that glamour of a popular film is missing because of the budget constraint. You see a Telugu film, it is so expensive. Their budget is too high, uh, Telugu films. And uh, Tamil too, you know, Tamil is ruling South, yeah. uh, South India. And even Malayalam film, even small budget films are quite good because you see, even low budget the Malayalam movies are very good. Uh, uh, story, but, the way they story see, tell, that is very good. But but you see the star value. When Mohanlal yeah. and Mamuti, they are acting in those so-called low budget films. Uh, they become so, you know, their scale becomes too high. When Mamuti kind of artist, uh, actor, acts in a yeah. serious film, it becomes very different. It, it be, I mean, it becomes popular in the theaters also. But here we do not have that kind of, uh, you know, star value, especially in Assam, we don't have. In Bengal, percent it, yes. Percent it is yeah. having a, quite a fan club, even I like him very much. <laughs> I like his uh, performances yeah. anyway. And in Assam, the problem is actually, again, that low, you know, that low budget. And another thing, we hardly have uh, 100 screens here. Earlier, too, it was very less, like 30, 35 cinema halls. And we 35 or 65. Earlier 65, then it came down to 30, 25. With 25 of theaters, you cannot run your show, a cinema. Impossible. Your budget, your expenses even uh, do not come back. And uh, But now, recently, we are having uh, more than 100, I think around 100 screens all over Assam. And you will be surprised to know one commercial film made by our hero yeah, here, uh, that uh, Jotin Bora, he made a film, Ratnakar. 
and it broke all time you know mm-hmm. financial box of his uh, you, you know record so it has earned almost 10 crores 10 crores mean comparing in ratio and comparing hindi films it is uh, 100 plus crores is a kuch ah so that film was running so well because of the slickness of the you know the camera work editing performance everything was so good but later on they said it's a uh, it's a remake of Terry, that South Indian film. Uh, so that is a different thing. He got inspired maybe from Terry, that film. Uh, but because of that, uh, you know, fighting sequences, dance sequences, mm, drama, yes. fast editing. So those kind of things nowadays, children do not have the patience, especially for the multiplex viewers. No? They do not have the patience for a slow and uh, very serious kind of films. They only go to enjoy, go there to enjoy months, um, you know, months from... Um, uh, snacks uh, have their good time with their friends like that. Uh, they they want to talk also in between. But in a serious movie, the whole atmosphere is different. So these kind of films, because of the first, uh, you know, all masalas are there. No? You're fighting, your uh, dancing sequences, dancing. drama, melodrama, music, everything is there. So that film really broke. Uh, you know, even Jubin Garg is a a uh, very popular figure here. He, you must yes. be knowing he's a singer. Yeah, he's the phenomenon yes, in Assam. He is the number one uh, most popular, more than the politicians and all, you know. So he made two, three films. Those also broke all time box of his record. So his his uh, his films because of you know that fan club. Any anything, whatever he makes, his fan will have to come. They will watch the film. They will make it a hit. So that is a different factor. Jubin, Jotin Boras, Ratnakar. These two, uh, their films, they are having different kind of impact on the audience. But the common common people's uh, choice and common films are not doing well. In fact, even the investment, they do not get it back. So this is a very poor show. Uh, for, even in Urissa, I know, because some friends are there in Urissa, even there it is same. Even in Bengal, I think right now it is not, they are not doing well. Because I get to see a lot of Beng- lot of regional films when I go for this jury sitting, no? national uh, film festivals. So then I get to see all uh, many languages film, regional films like Bengal and Kerala maximum films and Mar- Marathi, and from Marathi. Marathi. These three languages are always on the top list. Marathi plus films come every year from those areas. Marathi films are doing well because because of. Maharashtra government. Initially, 10, 15 years back, the way they supported, na, they backed up the Marathi language films. It is, you know, in compa- I mean, it is really very, very appreci- appreciated, appreciating. So, Marathi films, because of their good dramas, they have very good drama artists, very good, you know, stories, and they are doing very well financially also and critically also. And Bengali, I do not know because. Uh, uh, somehow earlier, no? like all the great film, some senior filmmakers were telling, uh, they were criticizing, in fact, that Bengals are yet to come out from Satyajit Rai. So they have to come out from Satyajit Rai. But now I feel that some of the newcomers, some filmmakers are making very, very good films in Bengal. I like those films, actually. And Uriya also, some are coming up, but very slow, like Assam. Assam has suddenly come to a better position. Uh, with this new generation, like Bhaskar Hazurika is doing quite well. Uh, his uh, last film, Amis, then earlier, Kathanodi, they are getting some bigger platforms all over the world. So they are very, you know, well-trained, very professional approach they have. The film may be small, but their publicity, their attitude, and their everything, handling is so professional, uh, it is becoming reality. Because sometimes you see, even your product may be very good, but if it cannot reach the proper people in proper places, then no use. You may be making a, even in the institute, some of you may make a very, very good film, comparing to some great filmmakers' film. But it has to reach the I mean, proper audience, proper critics, and proper you know uh, places, proper platform, I mean. Without reaching that, I don't think a very good piece of work also will be uh, you know, successful. So that way, this uh, professional approach of Bhaskar Hazurika's group, his production is very, very, I mean, I always appreciate. They are very good. Uh, they include Anurag, Kashyap Se Lekar, Salko include Karke, Esha Ek Mahal Bana Deta Hai, 
the flame sabke ye me na ghut jata hai yes we must see this flame we must see this flame and after seeing definitely there must have there must be some level no without that you cannot come to notice they are very good flames it is not that these are not good flames but at the same time their publicity they are presenting the flame is very very professional we should be we are we should be very careful about it uh, being a female uh, filmmaker which type of challenges you have faced in the past nowadays i say i am not a male nor a <laughs> neither a male nor a female don't ask me that question i am a filmmaker uh, no gender discrimination no but <laughs> why this question oh, everybody asks me and i oppose even in goa last uh, you know this year 19 uh, this year just uh, 1919 yeah uh, to 2019 2019 i was there there was a big press meet there also somebody asked me being a woman filmmaker um, how do you feel about it then i said please don't ask me that question huh. then my my co speakers were also quite good uh, they were also supporting me yes manju ji manju ji we do not know whether she is a male or female we know that manju ji is a filmmaker from assam okay yes but uh, yeah you, uh, your question is also it has some importance i have to tell about that because so many girl students you may be having in the class yeah. so actually what happens uh, uh, amongst all the uh, field uh, i mean or all the works of i mean working fields film making is the most challenging one it is very very technical and uh, you have to put lot of energy and time in a film making career so girls generally are supposed to come back home early you are not supposed to travel alone you are not supposed to go away from home without letting your people know they must know your location they must uh, uh, you must be under trace the girl with their parents or family uh, they are they will always ask questions but film mein kya hota hai you don't have a proper time table sometimes we work very late uh, like sometimes it is early morning we have to start we end in the evening then again evening we start early morning we end so here if somebody asks if you ask uh, parents ask the where you were why so late they will open the door obviously if you live in a family even uh, if you are married husband will ask where were you ha uh, you were out for the whole night or you are away for one month two months for a shoot it is very difficult to adjust in that situation so this is the attitude of the uh male society which really which may help to come out from this uh, you know uh, from this uh, difficult uh, position but um, now it is it is changing but still i don't feel that it is changing much in my case my i am uh, i started my career when i was already 40 plus i just entered 40 i think and i started my film, first film so i was married uh, with two children and my husband was very pushy you know he was telling why you are just spoiling your spending your time just writing and looking after the children and doing nothing at home so you should do something that that something i didn't know what it was all about i never had any program any plan to make films in my life but then uh, suddenly it happened that somebody came for some help and my husband pushed me to work under him and that was the starting point then i felt that this is the area actually i was always uh, i think waiting for to work in some in such areas so in my case my husband was very supportive at that time if he had not uh, pushed me to this area of work i would have never become a uh, film uh, you know film maker because it is a uh, and technically yes uh, in my first independent film it was difficult but my cinematographer was very good he was supporting me and he never thought that i am a woman coming uh, to make films without having any proper education institutional uh, you know uh, courses and all he supported me a lot i came to know about everything about films about you know sounds editing everything and luckily i see to it the in uh, see to it uh, such uh, you know for my post production also editor S. Rikar Prasad, uh, the uh, you know most renowned editor in Assam, uh, in India. So all my films, eleven films already. So he has edited. So I could sit with him, and he has become a family now. We are like family, brother and sister. So I have learned editing 
throughout my filmmaking career, uh, sitting next to him, A. Sirkar Prasad. I'm very fortunate enough. And all my post-production was done in Prasad Film Laboratory in Chennai. And all the technicians, all sound engineers and mixer, uh, then now these DI people, all these, uh, they are so supportive. And anything I can discuss with them, and it is still a learning process because in celluloid it was a different kind of work. Now, uh, now transferring, my, uh, shifting myself to digital world is a different kind of work. So, so I'm learning. Even now I'm learning. So now this, uh, <laughs> even uh, taking classes or talking over this is a new thing uh, for me. Video call fine with my children. I do sometimes, but uh, taking a class or something like this is new to me. So I'm trying to pick up everything every day, whatever is coming new. And uh, girls actually, they should be very confident and depends on the experience also. If you are matured enough, if you can handle any situation, if you are confident enough, uh, then I think that gender thing, that whether you are a girl or a boy, it does not come, it does not arise. People will take you the way you project yourself. So that way I want all the girls, filmmakers, to be very confident in their work. And they should learn everything properly, thoroughly, with proper cinematographer. If they, and they can be cinematographer also, they can be editor also, they can be sound engineer also. But whatever uh, they do, they should have full confidence on that area. And that confidence itself will give uh, that, you know, feel of a filmmaker, not as a woman or a or a uh, you know, men. So this differentiation will not, will never come. I feel. We all have a question. Students, Kapil. Yeah, come on, ask me questions. Can I, can I ask uh, questions? Sir? Ah, yeah. yeah. Gee, uh, so, uh, I just. I just wanted to know, ma'am, that uh, you've been working for very long, or it's almost, I think, uh, two decades that uh, you, you've been uh, making films. Yeah. Almost 24 years now. 23, 24. 24. Yes, yeah. yes ma'am. So uh, what sort of changes you think that uh, uh, that uh, can come to the this industry uh, uh, in, the, in the early time, in the early years, um, I mean to say, okay, when you have started, the uh, people uh, have uh, some other sort of taste of films. Now uh, you have a new generation coming up. Uh, so uh, what type of uh, content they need? Uh, actually, you see, <clears throat> now, uh, now whatever film you make, content is very, very important. Everybody uh, wants to uh, discover something new in a film, not the same many age-old stories, but content is very important and the way you uh, portray it, you present it, the presentation, the treatment, I mean. So the treatment, you see the Piku. Piku is a beautiful film. It's a very good, uh, you know, script. But the presentation, the script itself is so good. It is so different uh, that uh, it became quite popular with all generations, uh, you know, with all kind of viewers. So like that, now it is small, small budget, small budget films even. And there are so many, you may be knowing. So these films are so interesting, actually. If it is a comedy also, if it is a dark film also, if it is a romantic also, romantic film also, their treatment is so realistic and so interesting. It makes you sit one and a half hour, two hours, sit through without getting bored or without you know leaving the place, the screen. So this is very important. So now it is the treatment, the making style of a film is very, very important, I feel. Because uh, that uh, earlier films, some films were good. At our time, a lot of dances, a lot of, uh, you know, songs. Uh, we expected that there will be some good songs of Mukesh, Muhammad Rafi, Kishore Kumar and all. And uh, dances of Helen, Bindu, all those things. But now those things will not help. Uh, because in between some item numbers came up now in all films even in regional films they tried to put some item numbers so called i could not understand what is that item number but people do you know forcefully add it so that they can get some uh, you know audiences but now i don't feel because you don't have to you don't want to see a girl with a scan scantily i mean with a very less uh, uh, kapre pehenke dance karega 
एसो आजकल जनरेशन दे डू नॉट एन्जॉय इट एनी मोर बिकॉज गर्ल्स आर यू नो सो स्मार्ट दिस डेज दे आर अटायर्ड विथ ब्यूटीफुल डिजाइनर ड्रेसेस और ए वर्किंग ड्रेस यू डोंट वॉच इट गर्ल विथ देयर अपियरेंस आई आई मीन विथ देयर ड्रेसेस नो मोर because you go to a pub, you go to pub nowadays you meet people in the internet facebook uh, instagram all those things you have these days uh, so you are ac- accessible you get access to everything so why to uh, see all these i mean uh, in a film why to expect all these things in a film only so film should be something with a very good thought provoking content with a very interesting performance and you know Uh, treatment that is what now it is everybody even our stage of my husband i have was this days uh, he has switched over to all the world films or now it is all those mainstream films you know they are very crisp very good good editing good sound good uh, music and uh, good content uh, and uh, he is, he can see through otherwise i don't think he uh, will go for a long you know love story or triangle life story all those were formula type films are here games that was popular in those, that time now it is different uh, any other question um uh, so just i just have a last uh, question and uh, ma'am we are also interested in film making and uh, we have also make in a movie uh, we call it kalam ki awaaz so uh, it was an assignment so uh, as an assignment we were doing it but uh, uh, well we were doing it we loved film making and uh, i just want to know that you you also won a uh, award for best cinematic uh, cinematography for your uh, movie koyad in 2012 yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. so uh, can you please tell us that uh, what how we can uh, make a, a good movie how actually uh, when when you talk about camera i feel uh you can use a 5d camera also you can use a mobile also you can use uh, any other you know good digital camera also but the thing is uh, to create a mood camera should always be able to create a mood uh, okay without creating a mood uh, that light and shadow the mood no you understand the mood of the atmosphere the character the sequence the story without that the films films become very flat sometimes you see the story may maybe not very very attractive uh, you may not have any good content but the mood it it is showing na mood it is being created in a film the camera is creating such a mood that you cannot leave the screen so that is a very very important i think to know the know your tool properly whatever camera you use it is it alexa or a iphone or a 5d camera or red camera it does not matter that use of proper light use of proper time because the whole you see the you know about about the uh, heat of the atmosphere na the warmth of the atmosphere so every minute every 2 uh, minutes 5 minutes it is changing we call i always love to show it during that magic hour the magic hour is so difficult to capture any scene actually one long scene we cannot capture in a magic hour it, goes down the temperature goes down and uh, you know the light goes down so fast that you cannot capture the mood i mean the if it is a long scene so you have to wait for another day for the same kind of temperature for the same kind of light uh, something like that so to create a mood in a film in a sequence is very very important so that is very important when you talk about camera i mean when we are it is not just capturing the characters or the drama but it is also creating a mood इन सिनेमा। यस या कोई और सवाल करना चाहता है हेलो मैम मैम जैसे की असम की जब बात कर रहे हैं हम रीजनल सिनेमा की बात कर रहे हैं तो मैम एक बोडो भाषा की एक फिल्म थी मैम झोले दीड यस मैम मैम उसको मतलब की फिल्म क्या नाम है कौन सा है मेकर कौन है मैम इसका इसका नाम तो मैं नहीं बता सकता क्योंकि इसका इसकी जानकारी मुझे नहीं पूर्ण था इसकी फुल जानकारी और न्यू फिल्म मैम हां जोले द सीड नाम था उस फिल्म का ओ ओ ओ सीड हां दैट जोले रजनी रजनी बसुमतरी इज फिल्म या या इट्स अ न्यू फिल्म जी मैम उसको सात पुरस्कार भी मिले 
मैम कहा जाता है कि सिनेमा के लिए सबसे रीजनल सिनेमा के लिए सबसे बेरियर ये होता है कि वो उसको व्यूवर्स तक पहुंचने में दिक्कत आती है तो मैम ये कहां तक सही है या नाउ एक्चुअली यू सी देयर आर टू डू देयर आर टू फैक्टर्स वन इज सपोज योर फिल्म इज गुड इनफ एंड इट इज गेटिंग सम रिकॉग्निशन ट्रैवलिंग इन वेरियस फेस्टिवल्स देन दे गेट सम टारगेट ऑडियंसेस and if your cinema has some other arrangement na no? you want to release it commercially and your area is quite good with prop with a quite good number of viewers then also you can uh, reach uh, i mean you can reach out audience then also the film uh, is successful in uh, rajini's film case she has tried her best to show her film in some mobile uh, system like in every locality every you know district she will take her film and sell the tickets her representatives and show it in a with a projector in a screen so that way i think financially she could make some uh, profit and uh, festival wise also she has been traveling in few festivals i suppose she uh, and uh, uh, that is the thing and this kind of films ultimately the you know, how to reach these films is the like earlier i was talking about the digital platform if it gets uh, if netflix take if maybe takes or there are so many different different digital platforms na if they buy these films then you can get access to those films otherwise it is difficult or they can put the film in youtube also they do generally uh, hindi belt ke jo log hain ma'am uh, hindi mein jo filme dekhte hain jo banate hain ek cheez dekhi gayi hai ki usko bahut sara masala chahiye masala in the sense इंटरटेनमेंट भी चाहिए म्यूजिक भी चाहिए स्टोरी में भी लाजवाब कुछ ना कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग चाहिए कुछ कह सकते हैं हॉरर भी चाहिए आसाम का दर्शक कैसा है और बोला ना आसाम में भी सेम है आसाम में क्या है एक्चुअली जो ये रत्नाकर जो मैंने बोला ना इंडियन प्रोवेंस का बिजनेस किया इसमें सब कुछ है Uh, it is more, it is like a south indian play he got inspired mm-hmm. from that south indian film na so it is very fast technically very slick and there mm-hmm. is a mota moti a story in the film so may, that proves that even now assam audience also wants to see this kind of masala play and uh, even this bhaskar hazarika film uh, this kathanadi and uh, his uh, amish last year it got uh, really mm-hmm. yeah. they have also done good business and i was telling you this film is very quite good for festival circuit for target audience it is uh, it is really these are really good films but at the same time uh, they they could manage to get some good audience also in the theater because of their professional uh, professional uh, approach of publicize the uh, do the publicity of their films that is why this publicity to reach out people is very very important how you design the publicity that is very important but without publicity also if the film is uh, like you were telling that the debate uh, audience they want this and that kind of film even in assam we have noticed publicity was there but not like uh, these amis and other films and uh, like uh, village rockstar village rockstar was a different case it also made crores of business but the film is it got selected for the first time from assam in the you know uh, to represent india in the oscar so that was a great news just this to releasing it came the news and because of that news she got maximum audience actually hamari aadat hoti hai ki hum delhi up bihar aur jo idhar north ka jo area hai hamesha se north east ko ek alag tarike se dekh kar ke hi mante hain to yahan par bhi main maafi ke sath ye cheez ko continue kar raha hu और ये कह रहा हूँ कि जो यहाँ का जो फिल्म मेकर है और आपके यहाँ का जो फिल्म मेकर है क्या सेटिस्फाई हैं आप अपने फिल्म मेकिंग के तरीके से जो आपको मिल रहा है यू सी यू सी माय माय सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ फिल्म मेकिंग इज वेरी डिफरेंट माय सेटिस्फेक्शन आई नेवर टेक एनीथिंग एज चैलेंज इन फिल्म मेकिंग बिकॉज आई हैव माई ओन डिजाइन आई हैव माई ओन इंटेंशन एंड माई ओन यू नो काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट so my own films are basically research based and it is more academic than you know entertainment films so mera ye se satisfaction aayegi ki nahi mere ko nahi se it is not very important for me as long as my films are wanted by some students uh, some organizations some festivals i am very happy and uh, nationally yeah i am lucky enough for it is 
uh, God's grace that most of my films got, you know, national awards and international. Uh, so I think that uh, even now when somebody asks for Joymati, when somebody asks for Lal and Boy Bob, my first film, I feel very good. Some of the universities, when they ask for their classroom, uh, one of my films, I feel really, you know, proud. Yes, my approach, my uh, this thing is correct, that means. So I do not go for very fictionalized things. Uh, basically, though these are some story based, but a lot of resources uh, uh, involved in my films. Sometimes it is boring also, I know. Some people, some viewers may not like it. But I try to put all the elements in proper way, like camera. I always uh, bring my cinematographer from either from uh, Mumbai or uh, Urisha Maraju Mishra. He's a very cinem senior cinematographer. He used to he came from Orissa for me. He's from Pula Institute, actually. And he did four films for me. Then Sudhir Palsani, he got National Award in my film Koyad. He's also a very renowned cinematographer. He is also a Pony Film Institute graduate. So, so he is also quite good to work with. He's very, uh, you know, innovative, very creative. So I never take chances uh, with any cinematographer. Editor, I told A.S. Rikor Prasad always, sound engineer, of course, always the best I <laughs> go for. And, um, and because of those things, I think my cinema do not suffer from, uh, you know, uh, these technical uh, weaknesses. Uh, maybe my creation is not up to the mark. Maybe my creation is not that good, my treatment or yet. But technically, I can always tell because Joymati was my first uh, in Assam. It was the first uh, uh, this thing, uh, Dolby Digital Sound, uh, this thing, uh, film. And in uh, in uh, the festival, especially in Ifi Goa, when I showed the film, everybody appreciated the sound of the film. So it is a tough competition comparing to the big budget Hindi films. Mine is low budget film. But there, when I compete with those people with my low budget, you know, with slick sound and editing and cinematography, I feel proud. These are very important elements for a film. And I try to keep balance with those things. And uh, that is why I'm happy, I think, because I'm getting the opportunity to work with the best of technicians in India and post post productions also. And, um, and Raju, Misroji, Raju Misroji, actually from Orisha, he was an institute for me. Like, because while taking shots and discussing about the sequences, the previous night or day, we'll discuss elaborately. And he will give me all the opportunity to ask him the questions. Sometimes he will give me the questions. You ask me, Manjuji. You ask me these questions. Then only your mind will be cleared. Because at that time, I was in a learning process. Even my first cinematographer, Minal Kanti Das, he is also a national award-winning cinematographer, but unfortunately, he expired in a road accident. So two films I did with him. He also tried to teach me as as uh, far as possible the use of camera, how I can use different angles, different uh, you know treatment for certain sequences. So from the very first film till now, it is a learning process. It is going on. Even now, I am not complete. So even now I want to learn so many things about the little photography. Two three years ago, a film I saw was Sarad, Marathi film. And Nagaraj Manjule was the director. And Nagaraj's film is a very unique film for Marathi cinema. Yeah, yeah, Nagaraj. But as the news comes, that Nagaraj Manjule will work with Karan Jawhar and Amitabh Bachchan wants to work with him. नागराज मंजिले का जैसे सपना पूरा हो गया तो क्या वो सपना बॉलीवुड में जुड़कर ही पूरा हो रहा है ऐसे जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट के और फिल्म मेकर्स हैं क्या उनमें भी यही चीज है इंग्रा हाथ भी सकती है पर्सनली आई कैन नॉट सेड दैट सी द प्रॉब्लम इज फॉर आर्टिस्ट आई मीन फॉर दी सो कॉल यू नो ग्लेमर uh, first of all, my budget, we cannot afford their fees. Though my film will be very good, my script will be very good, then they may just uh, skip the, whip, the their remuneration and all. I know that. But getting a full time uh, from those artists will be so difficult for me because I work in such a relaxed atmosphere and uh, it is such a comfortable zone for me. Why do you break that comfortable zone and jump into some, you know, fiery situation. 
because suddenly they may not be able to give me time. Suddenly they will leave the location. They will say, Manjali, uh, I'll come back again. You arrange your second schedule. Those things we cannot uh, cannot afford. Ekdom practically, I'm telling you. Practically, we, that is why I never dream of uh, taking casting those people uh, in my films till now. But uh, yes, uh, sometimes I was thinking, sometime, some years back, long time back, that uh, I will talk with Nana Patekar. During those days, he was very good for character roles. So he was my one of the favorite artists. And then, then he did not materialize. Then in Kolkata also, Prashenjit, he's a good friend of mine. So for Prashenjit also, I am thinking, I was thinking. Then Nandita Das, I approached her in for one of my films, uh, who's got national award later on. Uh, but then again, the problem is she could not give me time. Prasenjit percentage, percentage won't be able to give me time. My time will be not telling with them. And uh, language is also a difficult thing mm. because uh, they will have to dub and they will be not agreeable for dubbing their characters. Those things are there. But for a Hindi film, Hindi maker, it is not a... Uh, if it is a regional film in Hindi, it does not... Uh, these things does not appear, actually does not come up uh, because uh, language is not a problem. In those areas. So, for a, I make films only in uh, my own language and on some other dialects. Suppose I make a Hindi film in Fusa, then I won't mind. I won't mind um, calling some, you know, good artist. artist. <laughs> that I won't mind, not in my language. Students, any other question? Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I do not know whether you liked it or not. I tried yeah. to explain everything in a very simple way because, uh, you know, uh, whatever yeah. I feel, I... Yeah, I'm very happy that we have met in the lockdown in the same time. No, no. Even I'm very happy. I'm very happy that I could give some time to you all. Uh, so let's see. Mm. Thank you. So, thank you so much, ma'am. So keep in touch. All the best to you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye.